Hello and welcome to the Titus Timeout Podcast. I'm Jenny Civi and today we're going to talk about reheat coils on VAV boxes. Unlike residential HVAC systems that provide cold and hot air, the supplier handler in a commercial VAV system usually only supplies cold air. To provide heat to an office or space when it gets cold, the VAV boxes have reheat coils. There are two basic types of reheat coils, hot water and electric. Hot water coils consist of tubes that pass through metal fins mounted in a housing. So it looks something like this. When hot water flows through the tubes, they transfer heat to the fins, and as the supply air passes through the water coil, the fins transfer the heat to the air. Standard hot water coils have 10 fins per inch, but you can also get high capacity coils that are 12 fins per inch. One thing to remember, water coils will add pressure drop to your VAV boxes. Okay, so let's move this out of the way and talk about where water coils are mounted. Water coils are typically mounted on the discharge of a single duct box or a series fan powered box. On a parallel fan powered box, they're often mounted on the induced air inlet so that you don't have a pressure drop across the box when you are not in heating mode. Okay, so let's move this out of the way a little bit. When you have a call for heat, the controller on the VAV box modulates a valve that controls the water flow to the water coil, and this is how you control the heat in the zone. You can also get VAV boxes with electric reheat coils. An electric coil is made up of an element wire that heats up when it's energized. It looks something like this. As supply air passes through the electric heater, the heat is transferred to the air. Electric heaters are almost always mounted on the discharge of the box and usually have an air proofing switch because you have to have airflow across the elements or the elements will burn up. Okay, so let's move this out of the way. There are two types of electric heater, staged and SCR. Staged heat turns the heat on in stages, usually one, two, or three stages. A single stage heater turns all the heat on at the same time when the thermostat calls for heat in the space. A two-stage heater turns half the heat on in the first stage, and if that doesn't provide enough heat to make the space comfortable, it turns on the second stage. And a three-stage heater does the same thing, but in three equal stages of heat. So let's look at the operation of a staged heater. Say you have a 10 kW heater that's two stages, so each are 5 kW. So the first stage gives you 5 kW of heat, the second stage gives you 10 kW of heat, and say your set point is 75 degrees. So let's look at how it operates over the course of a day. So when you come in in the morning, your zone is 72, you energize the first stage of heat, which gives you 5 kW, and after a while it's still not comfortable, say it gets to 73 degrees. So you turn on the second stage and now you have 10 kW of heat on and then it gets too warm, so now it's, say, 78 degrees. So it turns off that second stage of heat, and you have 5 kW, but then it gets too cold again, so it wants to turn the heat back on. You turn the second stage on, now it's too warm, and you turn the second stage off, and so on. If you look at the temperature throughout the space, you go from being a little cold to a little warm to a little cold on and off all day long. And that is the challenge to staged electric heat because the temperature in the space is going up and down as the system tries to maintain the 75 degrees, but you're too warm sometimes and too cold at others. So let's move this out of the way so we can talk about SCR electric heat. SCR stands for Silicon Controlled Rectifier. SCR heaters actually don't use SCRs anymore. They actually use SSRs, solid state relays, but the name is stuck around, so we still call them SCR heaters. The SCR heater solves the problem of overheating and underheating by matching the heat requirement of the space. The SCR heater pulses the heater 
on and off over a set period of time, usually a couple seconds, to provide the exact amount of heat needed. For instance, 50% heat is needed to meet the set point, then the heater will pulse the heater on for half the duration and off the other half. So for a two second duration, that would be one second on and one second off. Let's move this over a little bit. So if you look at the percent on and the heat output, you can see that it's pretty much linear. If you need 100% heat, then it keeps the heat on the full duration, say the two, full two seconds. If you only need 75% heat, it pulses the heater 75% of the time. So in our two second example, that'd be a second and a half on and half a second off to give you 75% heat. So let's go back to our 10 kW heater. So instead of having 5 kW on or 10 kW on, you would have the equivalent of 7.5 kW heat output, which would match the needs of the space. And you don't have the overheating and or overcooling in the space that you get with a staged heater. So that covers the different types of VAV box reheat. Thanks for taking a time out with us.